Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to our info session today on the Alchemist Lab Teaching Certification Program. I am excited to introduce both Hadil Anaptavi and Dr. Amanda Wikra as your facilitators. So to start off, Hadil Anaptavi, MBA, is an impact-driven serial entrepreneur, leadership coach, education consultant, and a Gratitude Network 2022 Fellow. Additionally, she is a WE Empower and DVF awardee, Vital Voices Fellow, public speaker, and the founder of the Alchemist Lab. She is an advocate for girls and women empowerment. And Dr. Amanda is a director of education, professor, and international consultant. She serves as an advisor for the International Certificate Program for the Alchemist Lab. Her research interests include global leadership, education, foreign policy, and international affairs. It is my pleasure to introduce both of you today to talk to us about the Alchemist Lab. Thank you, Dr. Azia. We're so pleased to be here with you. Uh, so welcome, everyone. We want to take a moment and just to say thank you to Dr. Azia, Dr. Gabby, and the entire team at uh, the Graduate School of Education and Psychology at Pepperdine University for helping us put together this event. Uh, we are in collaboration with the Global uh, Partnership Programs, and we're really excited to present the Alchemist Lab Teacher Certificate. Uh, my colleague and the founder of Alchemist Lab, we came together, uh, Ms. Hadil, we came together a few years ago and we met at an uh, international women's conference. And uh, we just honestly just had a conversation and thought, wow, we should just continue to work together. And here we are many years later, we're still working together. I currently serve as an advisor to her organization. And we formed a collaboration with, the Pe with Pepperdine University about two years ago because our course objectives certainly aligned with Pepperdine's mission uh, and the uh, partnership programs. And we felt that this was a great uh, alliance, if you will. Uh, so with that came to fruition of the Alchemist Lab Teacher Certificate. And we're so pleased that our uh, colleagues at the Graduate School of Education and Psychology have been supporting us uh, through this endeavor. And our purpose really is to help our uh, future teachers, our current teachers and aspiring teachers to really transform their classrooms through the STEM experience. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Hadil to discuss more of the course objectives of the certificate, but that is our overarching theme. And just please know that we're here anytime you have any questions or if you have any comments, concerns, anything at all, just please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, myself, Hadil or Dr. Azia, uh, we're here to be a support and a resource. So as we go through the recording today, we're going to essentially lay out the outline for you in terms of how the certificate is established. And of course, we're happy to address any concerns that you have offline as well. So with that, Hadil, I'll turn it over to you to provide context about the certificate. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Amanda. Thank you, Dr. Asia. And thank you, um, Pepperdine University team for this uh, opportunity. Actually, as Amanda said, that uh, even for the Alchemist Lab, uh, the, this certificate uh, aligns with our uh, mission to empower more educators globally uh, in the Middle East and uh, globally. Uh, let me at the beginning introduce the Alchemist Lab. The Alchemist Lab uh, is a social enterprise located in Jordan uh, with a mission to empower a generation of problem solvers in uh, uh, Jordan, the Middle East, and also globally. And um, uh, we've, uh, we've launched the Alchemist Lab in 2012, and we've reached and impacted more than 40,000 students and educators uh, worldwide. Uh, we started by offering an uh, in-person uh, uh, science activities, and then it evolved to STEM, and then we uh, started to bridge different gaps in the market that is related to STEM, and to empower educators and to train educators and help organizations and schools to build their own in 
innovative spaces that encourages STEM uh, and STEAM in their um, in their spaces. Um, uh, we've uh, like uh, been uh, an award-winning uh, uh, program uh, for uh, STEAM in the in the region, and uh, and we have like a lot of experience. As I said, we started in 2012, and even earlier than that, I've launched different initiatives related to science, uh, STEAM, and uh, the, the mission of uh, these initiatives were to bridge the gaps in education. Uh, now, I would like to say that to start with uh, uh, defining what is uh, um, STEAM actually and the definition of STEAM. Uh, STEAM is an approach to learning um, that uses uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math uh, to encourage uh, students' inquiry and uh, uh, um, uh, also creative and uh, critical thinking and problem solving. Uh, um, it, it's, it's well known that uh, uh, implementing and integrating STEAM in our classrooms uh, is becoming among the top requirements for 21st century uh, uh, um, education for uh, uh, our children uh, and for our educators and for schools. Uh, and uh, basically it's a requirement to help our students to become competitive on a global uh, uh, level and in a global work uh, place, uh, places. Uh, it's also um, uh, proved that it's an effective way to increase uh, uh, fun learning environments environments to increase interaction to increase engagement uh, to help it help educators actually uh, um, bring their ideas through uh, a fun and playful in uh, environment and we can't deny that with the COVID, it's becoming more essential that we introduce steam in our classes as as uh, as early as possible we always realized during COVID and even uh, uh, earlier than that, that the future is for STEAM skills. We don't intend to turn all students to become scientists, technology uh, experts or something like that, but we want them to develop the best versions uh, of themselves and the best versions of themselves is highly connected to STEAM skills, problem solving, creative and critical thinking, and in all aspects of life, we need these skills for our school students. So we are an advocate to uh, implement these technologies inside the classroom. Uh, we have like a wide range of experience and what, uh, um, what makes uh, our program unique uh, compared to other programs mainly that most prog programs focus on the technical aspects of STEAM. When educators, they come, they start by uh, telling them how to do um, this concept of science through STEAM and how to develop uh, a STEAM uh, um, uh, lesson plan. We do this inside this program, in addition to two important aspects that we believe that it's part of, uh, uh, of STEAM, which is one, number one, to empower the educators themselves to become leaders in their spaces. Integrating STEAM inside our classrooms, especially from early age, because some people think that it's not necessary. We're doing science experiments, so the STEAM itself is not a priority. STEAM Till now, all the content, the free content that, that is available online, it's only how to do a fun science experiment. The STEAM is combining the all uh, elements together in one space. And for this, educators need to coll collaborate inside their schools. And this needs certain skills of leadership, entrepreneurship, designing ideas, overcoming challenges. So we cover this aspect in this program. There are many challenges that educators might face while implementing STEAM or, or even at the early stages of, deci uh, of decision to implement STEAM. They might have challenges. We're covering these challenges and how to overcome them inside the classrooms. And uh, also the other aspect that is communication and presentation skills, which, me, uh, which, um, uh, which is a very important, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a skill and need for educators in order to implement this change in their schools and also to find ways to, in, uh, to communicate between each other as, uh, uh, as educators and also inside the classrooms. So uh, this is basically two uh, uh, main uh, unique things uh, 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 for this program uh, for educators, in addition to being exposed to global leadership, 
and global citizenships, which are which are very important for implementing STEAM as, as global STEAM change makers. Uh, the outcomes expected for educators from this program. Number one, to identify the STEAM uh, concepts and features. Number two, to be able to lead uh, fun learning classes and teaching uh, a STEAM in a fun interactive uh, interactive way, especially for the young uh, students, because sometimes uh, uh, there is a barrier inside us that STEAM is a bit complicated for the young uh, uh, learners. It's not. It's fun. Number two, uh, also uh, one of the outcomes is to be able at early stages and early uh, um, ages to connect STEAM concepts with real life experiences, because this is very important uh, for also STEAM. The outcome also from this program is to be able to build a great specific STEAM lesson plan and also to put goals uh, for uh, uh, these uh, lessons. So these are the, uh, the main outcomes uh, uh, of, uh, of this program. And we've designed this uh, program um, uh, in order to put all these elements together and make it also fun and interactive uh, for educators and also to get the advantage of connecting uh, um, to me as uh, the lead trainer and also to Amanda as, um, as a partner in this uh, program. And also beyond that to educators beyond your space in order to share ideas and to share uh, 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 what was adopted and was successful and what did not really work. This program is mainly eight module. And as I said at the beginning, that we start with focusing on the educator. The educator is the lead of change and the leader of change. So the first module in the introduction, we work up um, uh, together about uh, uh, the leadership in each educator, how to develop that, how to overcome obstacles, how to be motivated among the, the um, challenges, why are we doing that, and etc. And then from there, we take it to what is good education, because we do believe that in order to adopt and implement anything and any new technology or any uh, I would say uh, methodology, we need always to define what is good education for us and and connect the uh, the good education to the learning outcome and go backward all educators know that we have to agree on the outcome of anything and then go backward to design the classes so we tackle this in the second uh, module focusing on um, why are we teaching what is good education and also how to design a learning outcome and then we start by defining steam STEAM skills, uh, how, how really do we work around the STEAM combined, the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And this is really important for the young learners because we receive always messages from educators that how do I uh, like introduce uh, math in a science experiment and connect it to real life experiences and connect it to careers at early stage. So how do we start this early enough? We tackle this in the first um, uh, act in the third module from uh, uh, this certificate, which is uh, the STEAM. And then uh, after that, we go to curiosity. Why curiosity? We do believe that curiosity is the cornerstone and like encouraging curiosity of every methodology inside uh, 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 the classroom and schools our duty as educators to build the curious minds of kids. Actually, they are curious, but our traditional education system, uh, usually uh, they keep our kids uh, frustrated from the amount of inf the information that we give them. So we tackle a, a, um, a full module about how do we keep a, a students' minds curious, how to really encourage curiosity, uh, because it's the first uh, cornerstone of STEAM, and we tackle here the a most uh, important thing that is questioning. How do we, encourage quest do we encourage questioning? I do believe that the key in life is about questioning, asking questions, uh, uh, developing the right questions, asking the people around us uh, uh, the, the questions that will lead us to successful life. So we tackle curiosity and questioning in this module. And then we follow um, by introducing different 
I would say, tools and techniques that educators can really adopt and implement in their classrooms easily, uh, uh, query-based, project-based, games-based, and all these uh, uh, different techniques that uh, and problem-solving uh, based, all these techniques, how educators can they implement them inside the classrooms to encourage more STEAM, and how they can implement them in an easy way for early learners. What are the problems for early learners that we can tackle? Uh, because um, for early learners, maybe we shouldn't uh, talk about global warming. Maybe we have to simplify global warming. Uh, what, what questions should we uh, uh, encourage for these uh, uh, young learners? And then we follow that by uh, uh, focusing on, as I said at the beginning, communication, personal branding and presentation skills. And uh, uh, we've added actually this component to our uh, uh, training uh, uh, as a reflection of uh, a need by educators continuously. Because uh, in most of our trainings, the in-person trainings that we used to do, we always received questions like, how do I convince the school principal to do this? I'm, I'm, I'm fully booked by uh, uh, like lessons and classes and curriculum that I need to finish. I can't get this through. How do I build a collaboration between myself and edu other educators to implement STEAM? And this is really important. And I know educators who listen to us now, um, they can clearly see that most schools and the trend is to adopt after school STEAM. Uh, uh, programs rather than embed, uh, uh, embedding STEAM inside the classroom. And why is that? Because STEAM as a concept that is combined, if we want to embed it inside our classroom, it's not the responsibility of the science teacher. It's a collaboration between many other educators in that, inside the school and administrative. And sometimes the obstacle is educators need to find time and space to communicate this project and let it through. So through this module, we do really um, focus on this. And also we focus on the educator as a leader. So the personal branding is very important. We want leaders through this program to become empowered to lead changes in their schools, as culture, as initiatives, in their communities, involving all stakeholders around them, even if they are uh, like teaching young students. Personally, I believe that if we start early as educators, it becomes very easy. And I believe that obstacles that we see is uh, are, are uh, like much less comp uh, complicated than we imagine when we come to know the right tools to solving them. And this is what the certificate is all about. And then after that, we tackle the scientific uh, method because STEAM is, uh, is about the scientific method and the scientific method and scientific thinking as a process. How do we, uh, in, even in the simplest uh, project or, or in the simplest uh, science experiment and even in the simplest dialogue about a certain story that is related maybe to inventions, to young learners, uh, 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 educators for early learners should really think about the scientific thinking and methodology as a process, asking questions, research, uh, thinking of uh, alternatives, putting hypotheses, experimenting, and also testing our experiments and presenting them. And if they fail, we go again and really optimize that cycle and think of other solutions. And even educators, they need to really adopt this scientific thinking as a way of thinking while they are adopting STEAM in their schools, because sometimes they face different challenges and they have to deal with them. So we're empowering educators with the scientific thinking and we're helping educators to encourage this way of thinking inside their classrooms. And finally is the module about innovation and how really to be innovative in implementing STEAM in our classes. And the whole program uh, includes, mm, uh, uh, I would say, uh, videos for educators to, uh, to watch, uh, um, um, resources in writing that they can read at their own pace, 
um, we're trying to make it easier for educators and also templates of some, uh, I would say, uh, uh, guides and tools for them to assess engagement inside the classroom to assess uh, uh, the, the questioning skills, their questioning skills, and the way they are introducing questioning inside their, uh, their classrooms. Uh, it will include also a sample of lesson plans. Educators can just take and adopt in their classrooms, and also they can look at these lesson plans and then just change the concept and try to think uh, with the flow of that lesson plans. Uh, these lesson plans are tested for young learners and they are working very well and they were able to make it easy for many educators around uh, around the world. So we're trying to um, really uh, 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 help educators to become more in uh, innovative, to really uh, uh, be confident about adopting STEAM in uh, their classrooms. Uh, there's a question in the chat that I'd like to answer or uh, also it's about that uh, the program is mainly asynchronous so it's uh, basically you can really uh, uh, watch the videos, uh, uh, read, uh, look at resources at your own pace with um, up to you to choose to uh, uh, connect to, uh, to me or Amanda if you need any further support and you have a certain challenge that was not covered in this um, uh, in this uh, certificate or, pro or program. In our previous program, educators uh, sometimes they come to us to say, "Okay, I'm implementing STEM in my inside my classroom and STEAM, but I want to really encourage an initiative inside the school. How can you help me to design this initiative and to uh, uh, to get uh, through?" We expect usually uh, from two to three months uh, for educators to finish these. Um, uh, uh, modules uh, at their own pace. It's really dependent to how busy uh, uh, they are. Uh, there will be assignments in these modules to be submitted uh, uh, and we'll uh, look at these assignments and uh, give the educators uh, uh, our feedback. And then towards the end, there's a project where they will be uh, designing uh, a lesson plan and implementing it inside their classroom. And we'll help them to uh, really evaluate and figure out if we can improve this lesson plan from our, our uh, own humble experience. Wonderful. Hadil, I think it's important for us just to elaborate that um, the certificate was really created to help our teachers transform their classrooms. Um, and our, our positioning here is that we want to help you transform your classroom through the STEAM principles, but we still want it to be you. So bring in your concepts and uh, of course your ideas and tailor them accordingly to what you're learning in the certificate. Uh, because we certainly believe that both sides will align simultaneously, your ideas and concepts, the STEAM principles and how we integrate and intersect them. Uh, and as Hadil mentioned, it's asynchronous. So you can take your time and go through each of the modules on your own pace and really cultivate the skill set um, while, of course, identifying possible new innovations that you can implement throughout uh, as you go through the certificates because every module has a different objective. So you'll continue to learn new skills as you continue to go through the entire certificate. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And we covered through the modules that the elements that from our experience, we thought that they are really uh, uh, important as a starting point for educators, uh, uh, for uh, uh, young learners. And, and uh, every educator has his own experience or her own experience and her own obstacles and experience inside the classroom. So, so we'll work together to help educators to transform their classrooms, as uh, uh, Dr. Amanda said. Absolutely. And one quick thing to emphasize, I think the technology aspect is a really uh, a unique one in this certificate, because as we know, so many of our young children are technologically savvy, probably more than adults these days. So having that tech component and being able to integrate that into the classroom will most certainly help them in terms of just aligning with their interests. Uh, I've seen just with my own nieces and nephews, they know how to operate the iPhones, iPads, everything probably more than an adult. So by integrating that tech piece so that uh, it's, it's sparking their interest, I think would be great for the classroom uh, so that it's aligning with what they're already comfortable with. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really great that you also raised this point uh, uh, because uh, uh, inside the, the uh, program, uh, when we talk about technology, uh, there, there are some uh, guidelines for educators, how to really uh, use technology to their benefits for the students and how to evaluate what's available online uh, uh, for educators, specifically, uh, specifically uh, uh, in this program, um, and this is really a very important point to highlight that one of the obstacles for educators sometimes that they are not tech people themselves, they are not engineers, and how do we really uh, um, uh, include uh, technology and engineering, and how, how do we do this, how to, uh, to uh, implement uh, and adopt this in our classrooms, and how do we encourage this, we tackle an aspect uh, uh, how to do this as uh, educators. Absolutely. And now the cost of the certificate, uh, as Hadil mentioned, uh, there is a cost associated, but uh, it's very much uh, tailored to our educators. Uh, and we our ultimate purpose here is to, of course, help you transform uh, your skill set. Uh, and of course, to make the classroom a better place for all of our future learners and current students. Uh, but Hadil, would you mind just basically going over the cost structure so that our teachers are aware? Yeah, actually, it's uh, $750 uh, per participant, and we're encouraging schools to come in groups and connect to us so we can really uh, uh, help them uh, uh, um, give this program to uh, as many educators in their schools as possible, because this will make it success for their schools. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Azia, do you have any questions for us? Um, just a quick question, and I'm not sure if this is a question that uh, a lot of the teachers might have, but I wonder if somebody is saying that they're going for a teaching certification, would this, would these classes help them in achieving a certification to teach? That's a very good question. Um, I would say so, uh, because uh, I think as a teacher, especially an aspiring teacher, if you're trying to apply to a school district or uh, a private school, the more training you have uh, in various types of fields, the better positioned you are to perhaps acquire a, a teacher position. So I would say so. And really, uh, the certificate is building that lifelong learning skill set as well. So we want our teachers to continuously learn. So to answer your question, I, I think it's, it certainly will uh, help the teachers who are aspiring to uh, uh, have some sort of teaching position in the future. Uh, Hadil? Yes, yes, actually, I agree that they will be holding a certificate from uh, uh, Pepperdine University uh, with this, uh, uh, I would say, a program that is uh, 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 designed with global collaboration, I think that it will be uh, valuable for teachers and they will see the results and putting them on their CV uh, once they want to really um, uh, expand their career and uh, move to other uh, uh, teaching positions, I think it's valuable for them. Absolutely. And you actually brought up a very good point, Hadil, that I think we should reinforce. The certificate will be issued by Pepperdine University. Although we're in collaboration with them, the certificate title uh, and everything that's being put together will be from the university and it's a respected higher education institution. So that's certainly going to help elevate your uh, curriculum vita or your resume. Uh, so we encourage you just to keep that in mind as you're going to the certificate because that might be an additional motivating factor for you. Definitely. Absolutely. I think that's about all the questions that are that we have so far. Is there are there any um, any call to actions from both of you that we should take today to enroll? Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I would say that uh, um, uh, more details are available on our website, uh, uh, thealchemistlabacademy.com. And uh, and um, actually, when we distribute this um, uh, recording, we'll put that also with our contact details so they can connect us uh, on the page. Uh, everything is available there, how to enroll and all these things. And uh, through LinkedIn, uh, all educators can connect to us uh, because we are uh, we are uh, there by messages and by, by any tools and by e uh, email. And we're ready to answer any question beyond even this recording. Absolutely. We are here as a resource for you. So please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Uh, myself, uh, Hadil or Dr. Azia. And of course, I'm sure Dr. Azia will include the center's information uh, if you want to uh, reach out to them. Um, so we're all here to support and uh, we're all quite um, uh, in 
embedded in this certificate so we can answer any question any member of our team uh, so please feel free to reach out to us and as Hadil said uh, we're happy to support you beyond just the certificate um, if need be Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here and for giving us some really important information about the certificate program. And just to reiterate, everybody, this is coming from Pepperdine University. Uh, they are in collaboration. And so when you do get the certificate, you will have the Pepperdine University logo there, and you will also see the Alchemist Lab there. And of course, we are all here. If there are any questions and if you are ready to enroll today, please let us know so we can start getting you in as soon as possible. And with that said, thank you so much, Hadil and Dr. Amanda for being here today to talk to us more about the Alchemist Lab and to give us more information. And all the contact information we will make sure is in the description below. So you just have to uh, tap the, or not tap, but click the, the arrow below and you will be able to see all the information um, on how to contact us. It will also be flashing on the video itself. So you will be able to see it. Uh, please feel free to contact us anytime. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank, Thank you. you.